So I'm not even bother introing because I know you guys know who this is. McKinley Freeman, Brent Antonella, Hit the Floor, Season 4. And I have to say, before we even start interviewing you, I did not recognize <laughs> McKinley when I first walked in. And I'm going to mean this as a compliment, but most of the time when you see gentlemen and their heads are shaved, it's because they can't grow hair. So when I saw you, I was like, I'm so jealous of how beautiful and thick your hair is. You know, I concentrated for a really long time and it popped out. So there. I'm just wow, it's like a <laughs> chia pet. <laughs> yeah, that's literally, literally, yeah, yeah, so that was thinking. my goal. <laughs> anyway, okay, yes, let's talk about the show because so many new people, we got some of the old cast back, but of course, first of all, and I know you can't answer this question, I'm gonna ask it just to make myself okay. feel good, okay? <laughs> okay? What the crap did Derek do to bring or not bring Asha back this season? Man, of course, uh, I'm not quite, look how close his mic is. Um, <laughs> um, listen, uh, I think a lot of the questions that people are going to have uh, will be answered during the first episode. I think um, the answer to that question, like everything else in life, is complicated. And, but I think ultimately the answer will reveal and reveal itself and ultimately uh, open the door for the rest of the story. But it's, I mean, it's the elephant in the room, right? Because it's, it's the last time we see uh, Derek, he's headed off to an airplane and all kinds of interesting things are happening. And now uh, we're going to pick up where we left off and people will, uh, will kind of see where he is. But I think um, the biggest thing for me this season is just really going to be, it's, it's about the journey that Derek has. And I think um, once you see where the journey starts, you're gonna, it's going to be really interesting to see where it ends. So, yeah. And then for you, I know fans are going to be like, where's the zoo to my mm -hmm. ood, yeah. you know? <laughs> and I know that you, what's really cool is in interviewing you and Adam Sin in the past, you guys talked about how much work you put into the relationship as far as, you know, you're two straight men mm -hmm. um, portraying gay men and you want to do it genuinely in a way yeah. towards not making fun of or parodying. And so you guys talked about spending a lot of extra time together outside of the set. For this season, now that you have a new actor stepping into the role of being romantically involved with your character, what type of preparation did you guys do? Just a lot of talking. I have to give Christian Cordula credit, who plays Noah. When we first met, the first thing he said to me is, we need to do this 110% for the gay community. We can't half-ass it. And right from the get-go, when he said that, I'm like, okay, he's, he's going to bring it this season. But it's like what Kinley said, we're not going to linger on what happened to these characters. There will be answers in the very first episode of season four. So, and then once that's answered, we're off. Yeah. So this season's, there's a lot going on. Um, everybody has their journey. Jude faces a lot of uh, challenges that he hasn't faced before professionally and personally. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and wow. Britt handles it like a champ. I was, and I'm, one of the great things about the show, we talk about it a lot, is that you become a fan of the show because we are, working so much that you don't get to see what one another does so when the show does come on you get to see what other people do but what i have seen i mean i really can't wait for Brent, for uh, fans to see what brent did so he's, he was really great and with all these i'm saying new characters coming in new actors was it refreshing or challenging for you as an actor now to me it was cool because um you know, I, it's funny, I, I had this old acting coach tell me, you're never as, you're, if you rely on your scene partner, you're only as good as the person in front of you. So ultimately, it, uh, what it, what, having said that, what it does do is present a, a new set of energy and a new set of people to work with, um, which is always fun. It keeps things creative. Um, but having said that, Christian and, and, and all the other new folks, Court, uh, Jamie, Tayana, um, Kendall, Kendall uh, everybody did such a great job of bringing um, such specific energy to their roles that I think is going to help bring a lot of texture to the show. And ultimately, hope you know, like any good writing or any good show, people will love some characters and definitely hate some others. So we're looking to see, uh, looking forward to seeing what, what size people choose. So yeah. Well, I'm glad that you brought up energy. I have a question for both of you guys, actually. Now that you guys have moved from BET to VH1, it's obviously a different vibe, a little bit of a different audience. Did that, for you guys, feel like a change in the way the writers were able to tell the story as far as how they approached it? I don't think so. I think um, the story the story is definitely being told just the same. I think f good human drama is sex, money, power, money, sex, power. All those, you know, mm -hmm. you can repeat them forever. People mm -hmm. are going to watch. And I think, um, if anything, the, this, uh, the move to BET only enhances um, the ability for us to tell the stories at a deeper, more, more human level. Uh, and, I, and I think ultimately the audience will respond, I hope. So, yeah. And then for you, do you feel like the energy changed at all? And, and when I say that, I don't necessarily mean negatively. I mean oh, yeah. in a positive yeah. way. Totally. I mean, I feel like we, there wasn't really that much of a change besides BET just welcoming us with open arms and like the notes. It's 
everything was, there was no notes, there was nothing. It was just go off, do your thing, make the show that we've seen, and we'll just distribute it. And uh, that's basically it. Everything's the same. Every, same producers, same writers. I would say that, you know, props to BET too, because we're just coming off of, um, you know, BET Awards Weekend and BET Experience, and like the amount of effort and time and money and resources that BET put into that entire weekend for so fans could experience um, what it's like to be part of the BET network and interact with talent stuff was amazing. And I think um, just the spirit of that alone and knowing that you've got um, a team of people like that behind you can't help but, you know, step up to the plate and swing for the fences every day, you know, so yeah. Well, the one person that is behind you guys is James LaRosa. And what I love about him, I feel like you see writers and creators and they'll go to Paley Fest and they'll be on panels and that's cool and that's great. But James is so involved in everything. Like you can tell this is his baby. So for you guys being on a project like that, what's it like having someone like him spearhead this show? Well, it just comes down to the support that you get. Um, he's on set every day. So if you have a question, he's right there. And he just makes you feel so at home. Um, he has this ability to bring the cast together. I know when the new guys came in, everyone just meshed and we went right into it. There was no awkwardness or anything like that. And you just have the kudos to James for being able to do that without really saying much. Mm -hmm. It's just that energy as what you said that he brings that makes it a family. Mm -hmm. And then for you. Yeah, no, I think Brent said it well. I think, it, you know, James uh, has a passion for Hit the Floor and the people that that are a part of it. And I think um, it shows in absolutely every choice that he makes, you know, including interviews and everything else. So I think um, for us, it is very much about like, all right, he's doing his part, let me do mine, you know? And ultimately like it makes the work environment cool. It doesn't feel like work when you come here, but um, like Brent said, you know, you can always rely on James and the writers to always come through with stuff that you don't expect. So I think that's, that's, that's exciting to come to work to, you know? So I would love to ask you guys about what we can see in the future of the show, but I've learned my lesson already <laughs> that when I do, the only thing I get is <clears throat> like cute faces staring at me and that's it. Yeah. yeah, and I know you guys appreciate the handsome faces, but it does me no good. So instead what I'll say is, I feel like James and Jody and I, we talked about this earlier, but you guys have such a unique set of fans. They're so loyal, mm -hmm. so dedicated. You've worked on multiple television shows before. So mm -hmm. for you, what's the difference you think from the Hit the Floor fan who's sending thongs to the network executive <laughs> yeah. right. to some of the other shows that you've worked on? Um, I think um, investment. I think because, you know, when you start from the beginning of the show and you get to the third season and you've invested that long, I think um, there's a passion that comes with both the characters that you like and you don't like. And I think that the fans that hit the floor, I mean, every show says this, but I mean, if you think about the timing of it all, like on a consistent basis, it's been a while since we've been on TV, but the fact that like our fans still care, some of them write their own storylines, like it's amazing to me. And so to me, um, even coming back to the show, uh, it was very much about, you know, taking the opportunity to, to, to say thank you because, you know, you don't always get a chance to do that. Yeah. And then now that the summer special is over, I promise, this is the last question, I promise, guys. <laughs> but now that the summer special is over, because I think once that happened, a lot of us, even myself, was like, is this show getting canceled? Because they don't ever do stuff like that. So for you guys, once that was done and a few months went by, were you guys pretty certain, like, okay, I think we might be done? So I'm going to go to you first. I don't, I don't know. I honestly forget what I was thinking. But in some shape or form, something like that, like what you said, this is, I've never seen this before. This is interesting. And it would kind of seem like we were tying up some loose ends. But um, what, was, what was the time frame from that airing to? That that, we shot that in the spring, and then that aired in like, I, don't, I think it was like August. Somebody watching this might know. Yeah, it was like August or something like that. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, and then this and came then, along, and we're just like, yeah, let's go. Literally like two months no, not even, literally a month and a half after the, the wedding special aired, I booked Daytime Divas, so I was like gone. So like to me, I never even thought that we'd be having hit the floor conversations to be real with you. So like to be in a situation where we are and we've done it and we know what we put in the can and we know the kind of fans that we have, it's really cool. That's why I'm like, we're like less than two weeks from, from the show air and, and uh, you know, it, 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 who knows uh, what the fans will be like, but the fact that it'll be there for them to enjoy means everything. Because they've been there the whole, the whole damn time. You know, even the 18 months we were off the air, like, who does that? So, my, listen, give me this. All right, hit the floor, fans. You know, there's, never been, oh, there's never been one interview I've ever done in my life with McKinley Freeman, and I've done a lot that he's never stolen the mic from me. Okay, here, hold this for me. Okay, so what I was going to say was, uh, Hit the Floor fans, we super appreciate you. For the ones that uh, that stuck around and are going to stick with us, 
We love you for the ones that stuck around and, and they're going to make some different choices. We love you anyway because you stuck it through. And for the people that never saw the show, uh, we look forward to putting it in front of you and we hope you created something that you can love. But otherwise, you know, we're... we're uh, okay, well, yeah. that was our. Thank you. Thank welcome. you. You wrapped it up very nicely, so I'll let you wrap yours as well and say what you need to say to the fans. No, I, I appreciate every single one of you. I know we all do. And it's just, feel, it feels so great to be, on, be a part of a show where everybody is so supportive, whether it's fans, your colleagues, or the network. And you guys, I'm being sincere, you guys are in for a treat this summer. Everyone put in so much hard work. And I think it's going to pay off. And I really do think you guys are going to love this season. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. I really appreciate all of you. Well, thank you guys for stopping by and sharing with us at AfterBuzz. And we'll see you guys in just a few days. Sounds good. All right, Sounds bye. Good.